so much. Um, these are the brief points from INPT which was uh, discussed on 29 at Assam House called Tirlomar, New Delhi under the chairman of chairmanship of Honorable Home Minister of India and he was assisted by the Chief Minister Tripura and Finance Minister Assam and Home Secretaries and Tribal Affair Minister of uh, Tripura Government and MP and all the indigenous based parties leaders also were there. And we from INPT have not prepared any written memorandum because we were invited to share the opinion. So we verbally share, but while sharing, we have noted down the main points, the points we have shared there. So we have shared about mainly Citizenship Act Amendment B, SCAP. So we straightway say that we cannot accept it. And we oppose very strongly. And if the powerful government, powerful party in the government, they impose it, they pass it according to their own will, then there may be far consequences, action or reaction. And we have already mentioned in our sharing also. And we have already also shared about the opinions in general of our people in Tripura. And we are apprehending a lot of problems also. And because we have tersely stated about our surprising approach to an issue in 50s, prior to 50s also, almost 5 lakhs, the then Bengal, Bengalis from East Pakistan, the then East Pakistan, now Bangladesh, were concentrated there at Ambitila. So, who organized their repatriation with the Muslim in Tripura to push back to Bangladesh, East Pakistan and from East Pakistan to push out these Hindu Bengalis to Tripura? Who had organized it? There is no reply. And someone, some bodies were there which were championing the main target why those people came and concentrated in Tripura and systematically 500 families, 1000 families damping them to some areas where they found plains land and thereby, suppose in Gandasar area it is 100% tribal habitation now plain land should be there once there have been 2000 families taken the concentration camp and put them for rehabilitation. So automatically our people become minority there in Kanchanpur. Now they are in Nambasa also you'll find in main Ambasa, nearby Ambasa, Kulai colony is there. It means in the name of Kulai, those refugees were chartered to go to Kulai side. But instead of going to Kulai, they just went to Ambasa. But their village, their location name has become Kulai Colony. So this is not that we are just making the allegation, but this was the fact. Now whom to blame? Who had done it? This also we have mentioned in our sharing. And central government must be aware about those breakup of refugees periodically entering into Tripura and who had organized to push back the Muslim from Tripura to Bangladesh and Hindu Bengalis from Bangladesh to Tripura. So there is no answer about it. But these are the main rules which reflected the later 
uncertainty of the indigenous population in Tripura. So next we have mentioned most of the time when state government give some information about the apprehension of foreign national. We have seen the list in Gondachara, Raishabari, some Tripuris women, Chakma women, and some of the tribal women used to cross to Tripura to sell some forest product, bamboo suits, bamboo shuttle, and other vegetation. So after selling, they get maybe 100 rupees selling by those vegetables. So they will buy one kg, two kg of rice. They will go back there. But those women are arrested under the pretext of foreign national and put them in prison also. In on one occasion, we have visited there, we have seen those women, 15, 17, 20 women were produced before the magistrate. So they were forced to pay penalties also for their release. This also come to the list of foreign national apprehension. And next we found Chakmas are arrested also, and Rohingya also arrested, and Muslim Bengalis are arrested, Nigerian foreign national also arrested, but never Hindu Bengalis are arrested. Why this should happen? Why this should continue like that? And nobody is questioning about it. When you talk about this issue, you become communal. So, these reflect the sentimental agony of our indigenous people. These also we have stated before the Home Ministers. So, those bureaucrats, Home Secretary and other bureaucrats who are feeling some, according to their opinion, I think, this is one new reaction of our indigenous people of Tripura. So, why they are given this? upper hand. Why government is not able to control them? Today, uh, Home Minister had to say, so where do I put them? 15 legs, 20 legs. So they are trying to implement Citizenship Act Amendment Bill first. Apply cut-off date 14, uh, 2014. December something like that. So only a few days before. It means they will make all the Bangladeshis citizen of India and you I will become non-citizen. Those Bengalis who came many many years before in Tripura, they will become non-Indian. So how are you going to make compromise? So we said we can never support we can never accept, or you put Northeastern outside India and do whatever you like in your Indian territory. Though we don't represent Northeast, but at least in Tripura, we cannot accept. This is also what we have spoken. And another issue we have reflected there uh, about who will answer our questions, central government or state government? They have no answer and they kept quiet. So it continues like that. And one more issue we have raised there. You should not forget the who the North Block where Home Ministers, Finance Minister and other ministries also sitting in the very North Block. TNV had signed and peace accord on 12 August 1988. It means th more than 30 years before we enter into peace accord. It means we love peace. We don't love violence. Now if we have mentioned if Government of India will introduce this Citizenship Amendment Act Bill, then there will be problem. Law and order problem may be there. May not be very immediately, but it is a far-reaching consequences also. There may be some law and order problem. So, till today we have to fight for our 
empowerment. It means for our existence. On our own soil, we are fighting for our existence. Why it should it happen? And moreover, under six schedule provision, our six schedule provision exists, but those who are in power of ADC, they never practice according to constitution. In Karbi Anglo, Gawati High Court given verdict that district council will do the voter list. They will conduct election. Unlike Tripura, Tripura state government is preparing voter list. And they include whatsoever name is there. But in Kasi Hill District Council, only Kasi Aboriginal are voters. You may go and marry some Kasi woman. You may be husband there for 50 years, but you cannot vote there. You can vote parliament election. You can vote assembly election. But district council under six schedule, you are non Kasi. You cannot vote there. So this is the pressing they are preserving and the sixth schedule. But in Tripura, they introduced committee. Committee is nowhere in <coughs> ten, uh, nine district council of the Northeast. They are purposefully changing the uh, village council to village committee. Thereby, the power of committee is very low. Council includes the judiciary also. In judiciary, you can cover many other things also, including your development. So that is why from INPT we have stressed the need of district council, regional council and village council. There may not be necessity of regional council, but village council is a must. And you cannot substitute by village committee. But it must be village council. So we have mentioned it also. Immediately those bureaucrats including home secretary, they have noted it down. And we said that in six schedule area, non schedule national will have to lose their right of vote also. And district council has power and right for allotment of land among schedule tribe population, among schedule tribe members, and they can exercise restoration of aggrieved tribal land also. This is as per six civil provision. So these also we have mentioned. And for instance, NIT, National Institute of Technology in Zirania. Two years, we had only seven plus seven admission in place of 31. But we both with General Secretary, Mr. Zagadis Devam, we went the central government, we met the minister concerned. So we told him, under six schedule, in six schedule, we are to attain our normal percentage in a state. And he immediately realized, then he said, it would be done. So they have done today 31% admission every year they're having. So this also, every issue we have to fight. Otherwise, the normal norms normal system we are deprived of. Therefore we said why this is a happen? And one more thing we have mentioned that Bangladesh Prime Minister <coughs> she might have <coughs> shared with the government of India's Prime Minister, Home Minister. They may like to have some land, some places in Agatala nearby for Bangabundu. We have strongly opposed and we have mentioned during discussion also that Home Minister should take responsibility to, co to convey the message to Sheikh Hasina, the Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh, not to attempt to make any statue to take any, uh, any land in Tripura for any museum of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. We don't like. They can do it in their own way. She was saying Tripuri people have done marvelous help thing for the Bangladesh war. If you are really having sympathy and your recognition of Tripuris as your friend, where are your friend? During Bangladesh war, we have sheltered more than 20 lakhs.
So these two legs have not determined all to Bangladesh, but still you want to create some blame, we cannot allow you. And if you are really sympathizing, Tripuri peoples, in lieu of sheltering 22 lakhs in Bangladesh, you can declare some plan, some study institution in Bangladesh, so that our Tripuris, Tripuris, Panko, Mo, Chakma, Murung, they are in Bangladesh. They are deprived. They are not given proper rehabilitation, proper settlement. They don't have good education also. So Bangladesh can give them priority there, or they can have some study institute in Silet, in Rangamati, or in Chittagong, or in Dhaka. Let them do it. If they really love, they sympathize our tribals. In lieu of our tremendous sacrifice during Bangladesh war, we lost houses, we lost our many beautiful women. They have been with those people. So we don't know their future. So we have sent this message through Home Minister's office that this news, this sentiment should be conveyed to Bangladesh Prime Minister. And I think it will be conveyed timely. And if they continue to do that, there will be problem. So <clears throat> why you should invite problem? You are Prime Minister of a country, you can allot big area of land for study center for the Tripuri. Many Tripuris are there in Bangladesh also. And so many other tribal people there. So they should consider it. Last but not the least, if the Bangladesh constitution is a secular or not, I'm not very sure. If Bangladesh constitution then they may not invite any non-Muslim communities for their for their future. So most of Tripuris will be either non-Muslim who will go for further studies if the Bangladesh government someday may declare some study institute. But I don't think they will do it. But it is our request. And instead of graving, taking land from Tripura, they should turn their mind to them. So this was the interaction and statement we have made. We don't have any paper work. We didn't submit any paper. We have one paper which was signed by Anthony's and other groups also were there. So we have also signed them. It is a common. It is exclusively containing the citizenship amendment bill. So we have, because we have no problem, as long as this is related to Citizenship Act Amendment Bill, so we have no problem. These are the few points we have shared there. And many people admired. And Maharaja had telephoned me, said, Vijay Babu, you sharing your statement really hit my heart and emotion. Maybe I told him, it is a time that we have to speak the truth, we have to reveal the truth. Because many Delhi people, they do not know about Tripura. And I also forgot to tell, Government of India, you have chosen, you have selected the Bangladeshi bureaucrats. They are the best officer, they are the best instrument to subdue Tripuris. This also they have selected. I forgot to mention about it. But next time when we have time, I will share all these issues also. The government of India, if you feel Tripura is a part of, integral part of India, you must trust Tripuris. From Tripura, you are not trusting Tripuris, you are trusting non-Tripuris coming from outside. Why should that happen? So these were our sentiment. Thank you so much.